Backyard Basics. I'm Guy LeBlanc. We thank Philip Smith for sending in his question about a problem on his red oak. This is a great question since it's a fairly common problem in our area. Perhaps the two nutrients we have the most efficiency problems with in Central Texas are iron and nitrogen. Iron is a micronutrient, which simply ne means that a plant needs less of it than it does other essential nutrients. However, iron is the central ion in the chlorophyll molecule and as such is critical to plant health. A deficiency of iron is typically called iron chlorosis. This presents with a yellow leaf with green veins. The newest leaves are normally the first affected. As the deficiency progresses, browning and twig dieback can occur. This is very common in red oaks and there are several possible causes. Usually iron is sufficient in the soil, but the high pH of the soil makes it difficult for the plant to absorb the iron. Sometimes the problem is not the soil, but the tree itself. This can be the case with a hybrid in which one of the species in the hybrid is not able to uh, adapt to our alkaline soils. Also, if the plant is not locally grown, it may be grown in an acidic soil and again may not be able to adapt to the alkaline soils. Severe girdling roots can also mimic iron deficiencies. Also, symptoms can be caused by manganese deficiency, but this is rare in central Texas. Treating iron chlorosis can be very difficult. Soil pH cannot be permanently changed without replacing the soil. For a homeowner, typically we'll try to acidify the soil. This can be done with sulfur or mild acids such as citric acid. Professionals will sometimes use a stronger acid such as sulfuric acid. We can also try to treat this with chelated irons. The type that's typically best for this is one that will hold its chelation in an alkaline soil. This is referred to as EDDHA. You can also make foliar applications of iron, and this can be successful with smaller trees. You should follow your label directions for the amount to use. Now, when fertilizing any tree, it's very important to remember that nutrient balance is critical. Too much of one nutrient can cause a deficiency in others. For this reason, I recommend doing a soil analysis before fertilizing. Nitrogen is probably the most common deficiency in our central Texas soils. Nitrogen is a macronutrient and a major component of chlorophyll. Symptoms of nitrogen deficiency include yellowing of the entire leaf. Usually the older leaves will yellow first. Fortunately, treatment of nitrogen deficiency is fairly easy. I recommend three to four pounds of actual nitrogen per square feet, excuse me, per thousand square feet of soil. This includes the nitrogen already present in the soil, so again, you should do a soil analysis first. I recommend using slow release forms of, of nitrogen, such as sulfur coated urea or blood meal. Fast release forms, such as ammonium sulfate, can cause problems with plant health by increasing insect or disease problems and can also pollute the aquifer. For Backyard Basics, I'm Guy LeBlanc.